Ladies, gentlemen, pronouns, lend me your ears. Crazy get back for another react, and this time we're going to be reacting to Tim Hawkins and the Sounds of Starbucks. Basically, it's a parody song of The Sounds of Silence by, I believe it was Simon and Garfunkel. So without any further ado, let's get into Tim Hawkins and The Sounds of Starbucks. Coffee, my old friend I've come to order you again I hear the grinding of espresso beans I need a double shot of pure caffeine And the indie band on the speaker Soothes my brain So I'll remain Within the sounds of Starbucks. Now, Starbucks is a company that uh, came up from literally just coffee beans. They were selling coffee beans at first. And uh, they became, you know, really, really popular in the United States from the Seattle region and just expanded from there. But they're more of a... Uh, a hangout coffee house where hipsters get together and they listen to the the the, the tunes and some some uh, Starbucks actually have performers come in and, and play. Um, and uh, if you'll notice, one funny thing about this video is the rings in his mouth, his nose, and what and all, all over the place. There's different amounts of rings during the entire video. And sometimes they fall off and whatnot. It's, it's quite comical. Tried to brew my own at home But felt so quiet and alone I need to be amid the morning rush Where the leather chairs are soft and plush And I'll drink a grande cappuccino with a pumpkin scone charge my phone listen to the sounds of Starbucks then I heard an awful scream they had totes run out of cream now that would cause quite a panic in pretty much any coffee shop like can you imagine the pandemonium that would ensue if a coffee house ever ran out of cream, it would be insane. A new employee's built the coffee grounds, and the Wi Fi went completely down. And a lady in yoga pants threw her latte at the wall. The cops were called, then came the sound. Of sirens in the drive through lane, I saw a thousand hipsters, maybe more people paying without drinking, people waiting, they were all freaking, people going off because they couldn't get a caramel frap. Yeah, the pandemonium that would ensue with all that crap going on, it would be insane. Some people are just that desperate for their Starbucks frappuccino. It's just insane. A riot started at Starbucks. While a Bible study prayed Baristas formed a barricade The manager cried out a warning To the angry mob that was forming And he said, I checked Google Maps There's another one across the street So we stampede 
that would be a stampede. If one ran out of cream or ran out of coffee beans, the one across the street is about to get busy. And return to the sounds of Starbucks. All right, final thoughts, final thoughts. Anybody who knows me knows that I drink a lot of coffee. And I'm not that bad if the coffee house goes out of, get, get, gets, uh, uh, runs out of, out of coffee, cream, or sugar. Because I figure I'll just go home and make some of my, some of my own. No big deal. But um, <laughs> I find this kind of funny because we live in a time where some people, if they don't get what they want, they throw up. Fit. They throw a fit so bad it would make World War III look like child's play. And we call them people Karens. And just like he said in the one, you know, um, a lady threw her latte at the wall. You know, that's just basically someone being a Karen. You know, you don't get what you want. Oh, well, guess what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make your life a living hell. But uh leave a comment below. Uh, what you think of this song? Um, if you've ever seen people just lose their ass at, at a Starbucks or any other coffee shop, uh, let's have a discussion below. Uh, what's your favorite takeout coffee? Um, and you know, let, let's you know stay engaged with each other. Uh, a link will be dis be provided in the description box for this original video that I've used. Um, so that you can enjoy it. And I encourage you to go and watch it uninterrupted. Uh, so until we get to the next one, folks, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I wish everybody peace, love, and happiness.